Look how deep this was. Look at that. What do y'all think that is? Headed down to South Louisiana today and tomorrow. I'm going to do a two-day dig with Bayou Digs, and uh, we're going to be hitting some uh, some fields, some vacant lots, and maybe a churchyard. I don't know all what he has in store, but he's got some new permissions, and we're going to be on some existing conditions as uh, the permissions as well. So hopefully, we're going to get on some good stuff, and we'll get to show you some good, good finds. Some maybe some old coins, maybe some old relics. I don't know, but uh, as soon as I get there and I get on my first good find, I'll turn this camera on and I will show it to you. So, I will see you on location. town south of Alexandria and uh, we have got some really good stuff here we got all of this if you can see way back down there in the corner was an old circus ground and a lot of great things have come off of that now this old house we have all of this here we have an old church right here another vacant lot over there we have down here is where the old uh, Bayou Landing was. The Bayou's right behind this store, this this shop here. We have that. We have lots of stuff. Thanks to Mr. Bayou Digs right there. Y'all check good. him out right there. And uh, so let's. What are we gonna find today? All kind of historical artifacts. Hopefully some good keepers. We're gonna find some old coins. I hope, so. I hope so too. So let's get at it, man. Well, I'm gonna be hunting with my Equinox 800 today. My trustworthy red one. I brought my blue one. It's in the back up in the truck. And uh, we're going to be um, just running everything on, part, on multiple frequency. And we're going to leave everything pretty much the way it is. We're going to leave our accept recovery uh, at, I mean, re our recovery speed at five. I'm going to go down to four since we're going to be in an old area. I want to go just a little bit deeper. Uh, I'm going to put my, over up my sensitivity up to 22. And we're going to go ahead and noise cancellate cancellation here because I'm around some power lines and I've got another Equinox nearby and so we are ready to go and we're going to be hunting this big vacant lot where there was a circus and right over here there was a plantation house and so we've got some great great finds hopefully we're going to get today so let's get at it all right got my first target here from a 34 to a 33 31 about six inches deep so let's live dig this let's see what we're going to get here let's kind of go wide in case it's a big silver there's actually more than one tone in here and so maybe there's going to be a little coin spill all right there's the plug it's not there it is it's going to be right here There it is, right there. Y'all see that? Dude, I see a reeded edge. What? That's two of them, man. Seriously? No, that's oh. just one. What is that? What is that's going to be a token? I tell you what. Let me uh, let me get some uh, water on this, and uh, we'll see what this is going to be. So, time to break out the holy water. All right, guys, this is a big, thick coin at that. I don't think it's going to be silver. It, I didn't ding it. 
There we go. Grand Casino. <laughs> it's just casino a casino token. token. Oh, man. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I'll rub it now. I'm not too worried about it now. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a, a big casino. Grand Casino Token. <laughs> hey, man, that's a good find, though. I'll take that. Money right off the bat or something. All right, similar. man. Thank you so much, man. He, uh, by you gave me this uh, this target. So uh, he let me have it, and I'll take that. All right, first good find of the day. Let's get some pictures and keep on rolling. All right, by you saying, come down here. This is uh, something i got to film. He's got like 26, and uh, he said it's good. Yeah. What are you thinking? I'm thinking a piece of trash. <laughs> so, how'd you film a piece of trash? It's jumping around. It's not. Oh, it's a gold ring, dude. Go plated. <laughs> That's why it's jumping around. It's gold plated. Oh, you broke my heart. <laughs> yeah, I see the see see the see the edge on it. How on the edge where it's kind of rubbed, and you see the green. I do. That's that's why it's jumping around. Hey, yeah. but that's a nice find, though, dude. <laughs> You got the, here, I'm what? the ring king, not you. No, no, come on. no, no. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, hey, that's another good sign, though. He just got through digging an Indian head right over here, yeah. 1909, and that's an old ring. If I disappear, if I disappear, you'll get it on film. No, there I you go. Disappear. Yeah, it fits on the pinky. <laughs> it's probably 14 or 18 karat uh, gold plated. It is marked on the inside. Yeah, I bet it's 18 karat gold plated. It says, uh, oh, it's got, it's got a very fancy little mark on it. It says 18 and then it has a crown. Yeah. So it's, it's 18 plated. 18 plated. That's usually what they are. Hey, good find. All right, let's keep swinging. It, Bayou done got him a gold plated ring. Then about 30 seconds later, he got a brass ring. And now he walks back over to me and he's got a silver ring. All right there in the, in the one little area. And so he just caught it. He said there was silver out here and he got it. But I came back over this lot where Bayou digs. He's right there behind me. He went to go get us a drink. And uh, I was getting a solid 22, and I'm digging all signals. So, uh, but when you're in Louisiana, you'll always dig one of these. You know what it is? A Louisiana tax token. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, if I had a dollar for every one of these I dug, I'd be a millionaire. Well, still out in this open lot, we're going to start hitting the sidewalk and go back up to this other, the other place, but we're just kind of working ourselves through here. But uh, I got a solid 12 here, and... Uh, it's usually about six inches deep. That's going to be uh, a good nickel. So let's see what it is. Well, I just got about seven inches down. I got a solid 12 and popped it up. And you can see the uh, imprint right there. It's going to be a V nickel. I like those V nickels. I'll take them all day long. Well, we're still out here in this field. We have found a couple of uh, uh, V nickels, an Indian head, those rings. And Bayou Dick's got a three ringer. And then I was getting a 23, that was kind of high, but I got a three ringer. Let me show you. Yeah, pretty deep too. It's going to be a regular mini ball. But that's good. We are right, uh, right on the other side of that tree line is the bayou. So we know that they came through here. And right over there was a plantation home. And so we're in definitely in the area for Civil War period relics all right i'll take that all day long all right let's keep on rolling well i'm getting 11 12 right here and it's about six to eight inches deep that sounds like a v nickel we're we're gonna dig this one live and see what we can get here let's see if uh it's in the plug no it's still down in the hole well let's uh Yeah, I see it right there. Right there. That's going to be... Yep, I think I'm going to get a date off of that. Let me uh, get my gloves off and let me clean it up and I'll get a date for you. I believe this is going to be a 1910 V nickel. We're in the zone. He just got an 1895 Indian head right over there and a V nickel right over there. So let's get a picture. Let's keep going because there's got to be more out here. It's got to be silver out here. Yeah, it's getting 1819. Uh, real deep. These three ringers are ringing up. Oh, God, look, look at how deep this is. That's uh, at least nine inches deep. But I'll take them. All right. All right. Another 
as you can see, about nine inches deep. Now the round, uh, uh, three ringer, that's number three for me. I think Bayou Dig's got three or four. We're kind of in a hunt, a race, so he's going to get the most at the end of the day. I'll tell you what, this field is one of those fields that's so big, we're going to be able to come back time and time again. And uh, it's just so much out here. I'm getting these faint 18, 19s, and they are very deep. That is eight, nine, ten inches deep. I just dug this uh, mini ball. This one's been pulled. You can tell by the top right there. And so, all right, I'll dig them though. That's Civil War relics. I love doing that. Well, we're coming over here to this uh, other lot, and uh, we just kind of we were on the other side of the church a while ago. Coming back over here, there's a sidewalk because I wanted to hit this yard. Got a 28, 29, about uh, five inches deep. Popped it up. All right, can y'all see that silver right in the hole? What's it gonna be though? Is it gonna be Barber? No, it's just gonna be a rosy. Oh, big shiny rosy at that. 1948. 19. Uh, hey, silver is silver, silver. though, right? So I, I won. You got it. Now it's who's get the most silver or the <laughs> oldest silver. I was digging up a 31, 32 and about a foot deep, about 10 inches deep. Check this. It is very deep. Check that out. And uh, I've never dug, but I think it's a large sin. I've never dug one. So let's look at it and see what it is. Look how deep this was. I see that. That's look at that. What do y'all think that is? I'm seeing stuff come out. Here, you hold the camera. Come on. It could be a KG2. I don't want it to be a KG2, even though I'll take <laughs> it. I want a large scent. I can't tell. I don't know. Let me uh let me do some cleaning up on it. I'll come back to you. I can't tell what this is. You see a date on there? Eight um right there. Eighteen eighteen fifty something. Bank of Canada. Bank, Bank of, of Upper Canada. Upper Canada. You found a Canadian uh, half dollar. Bank of 1858 or 9. No, it says, yeah, half dollar. Yeah. Check that out. Canadian half dollar. Bank of Upper Canada, 1858. Now that's really cool. Wow, let's get some pictures and keep on going. We're in a good spot. Yay! <laughs> I've got a 31 screaming silver tone. How deep do you think it is? Six, Six inches. You know, this could be seeded because I dug that other Canadian half dollar was in 1852, not in 1859. So we're, we're back in seeded territory. This could be a seeded quarter. So we're going to live dig this. I'm going to hand you off to uh, Bayou Digs and he's going to film me. Yeah, look at this on my screen. 31, 32, solid. Eight inches deep, it's saying. Let's dig big and wide, because this could be seated, boys. I hope I'm not jinxing myself by doing it live, dig. I'm going to dig a big plug. But that sounds like a quarter, if I've never heard a quarter, but we've been full today. Oh, come here, come here, come here, look at this. Oh, it's just oh, going to be a Washington, though. Washington. It's just going to be a Washington. Yep. But it's definitely going to be a silver quarter. Yeah. Look at that. Let's see here. 51. Yeah. I knew it was going to be a quarter. Yeah. That's just screaming up too high, 31 like that. All right, man. That's two on the board now. Man, I thought it was going to be seeded or barber, but I wasn't expecting Washington. But I'll take it. I'll take any kind of silver. Uh, that's good. That's the yard's paying off right here. So let's, let's keep on digging. I just got a sod at 11, jumped to a 12. 
11 is usually a shield nickel. 12 is going to be a V nickel or even a buffalo, 12, 13. And I just popped it up. As soon as I scratch the dirt off the top, I can see the shield right there. That is a shield nickel, folks. Man, what do you think there, Bayou? I think you're doing great. <laughs> Man, that's right here where I just found that quarter right over there, and the dime right over there. And uh, so let's see if we can check this out. Watch this imprint right there. Let's see if we can get a date off of this. Oh, it's going to be the old type. No, it's the stars. Well, still out here in this vacant lot where I dug that 1852 and that uh, shield nickel, not too far away from that shield nickel. But I was getting something very deep, like a, I don't know, it was 28, 29, 30. And uh, dug down, and boy, I dug down. It's 18 inches deep. The Equinox dug it up, though. And uh, something really interesting. Let me show you this. Look how deep it is. There's one pro pointer deep there. And there's two. So it's at least 17, 16, 17 inches deep. That's how deep this was. And turns out to be in a little barrel tap. I've never seen a barrel tap so small. I don't know if they put that in a tree and did syrup, sap, but it is a real barrel tap. Could go into the tree. I didn't think about that. Still got the valve on it. It's a neat find. That Equinox is tearing it up today. Well, just right beside where I got that barrel tap, I was getting 1112 and just popped it up. Let's see what it is. That's where I dug that barrel tap. Came right here. Popped it up. It's right there. Let's see. What this is going to be. Looks like a shield nickel. Another shield nickel. I'm not sure. But I think so. I think I see a little bit of the shield. Let me wipe it on my pants. This one's wiped clean. But I'm pretty certain that's going to be a shield nickel. My second shield nickel today. All right. Bayou Diggs is going to hate me. Come down here on his, his permissions and, and uh, get another shield nickel. Look where the imprint was. You ever get so tired that you just gotta lay down? I tell you what, I'm not used to this land detecting. I've been water detecting all this time, and gosh, it is so hot here in South Louisiana. And not only is hot, it's humid with all the rain they got through the hurricanes and sitting on this uh, St. Augustine yard, and you just feel the heat coming up. And this East Texas boy thought he knew humidity till he came down here, and uh, so. Now you went over there to talk to a landowner. We might get another permission to cross the street this 1902 house. So I uh, thought I'd just take a break and I would just uh, sit here and talk to you and just try to take a break, cool off a little bit. And so I'm going to turn this camera off. I'm going to take a nap until he comes over here and wakes me up. He's probably going to think I'm dead or something. So, all right, I'll see you at the next five. Well, we decided we got about an hour left, Benjamin does, to come back out in this field. We had to leave because the guys were mowing it. He just, right down there, he just got him a ring, a uh, three-ringer. And I just got, I think, a ringtail sharps. I think that's what that is. They ring up like an 18, 19. So I'll take it. That's about number five for me. Yeah, we knew. We said there was silver. I don't know. I have, can't tell yet. I got a 28 uh, signal. And uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm in the light. It's right there. And so... That's going to be a... Is that seated? It's awfully worn. Man, that is so worn if it is seated. <laughs> Ooh, that might be... I cannot tell. Mm. <laughs> Let me do some work on this and see what we can come up with. I tell you what, it is going to be completely devoid of any markings. The only thing we can tell, it's got a reeded edge on it. It's very thin. And in the location that we're in, uh, it could be, I think most likely it's going to be a seated. But I'm telling you, it is a worn seated, if anything. I can see a little markings right there, like three little marks, but uh, 
It's bigger than a trime, so I know it's not a trime. It's bigger than a half dime. Being that worn out, it's got to be a worn out seated. I want to say she's sitting like that right there. Kind of looks like one, doesn't it? If you see it in the light just right. But I can't be absolutely. It's readed, so we know it's American like that. Bayou's got him a 31, 28, about 8 inches deep. And on the sidewall. Come on, quarter. Barber quarter, seated quarter. It's in, they got to be in there. Did we see silver? It's in. Oh. Come on, it's in there. Yes. Hey, it's a dime. It's Nin Barber. 1903. 1903 Barber. <laughs> All right, man, you got your dime. It's in good shape, too. Look at that. Yeah. 1903. All right, man. There you go. All right. Now you didn't find all the That's silver. right. You got one, too. <laughs> all right. You got a good one, man. Well, we knew there was some silver out here, didn't we, by, by you? And I got that real slick one, and I got a 24. But I had a, that pitch of a silver, though, even though it was ringing low. But those thin barbers and stuff are ring low like that. And I just popped it up out of the coin ball, and I see one dime. So is it going to be barber or is it going to be seated considering everything we've been digging out of here has been pretty old so let's go for seated let's do it there it is can you see it one dime let me hand this off to you all right boys and girls here it goes you're gonna see it when i see it no it's gonna be barber 1897 barber oh beauty i'll take That's a barber a though I'll take an 1897 bar. <laughs> well, we finished up for the day. It's 4 o'clock. Benjamin's got to get in and help his wife get a car. And I think I'm just wore out to keep on going. But I don't know. Maybe if I take a break, I'll go out and swing a little bit more because we did find three dimes there at the very end. And so what do you think, Benjamin? Man, fantastic day. I haven't think, had one like that in a while. That's been a good ending for us. Three, oh, yeah. three dimes, definitely for sure. Well, let me spin you around. Let me show you what he got. Then I'll show you what I got. And uh, that's day one. We still got tomorrow to go to. There's all of his trash in there. Got a big water thing and a big sprocket. Got him some harmonica reeds and different things. Got him a pocket change uh, spill. Uh, modern money. And here's his good finds. He ended up with uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven mini balls and a round ball and one uh, fired marble got a some type of little lid we don't know what that is maybe a pendant too maybe a pendant yeah. two of them match he got two indian heads i didn't get any indian heads he got a gold plated ring a silver ring and a, and a, a, a brass ring he got two v nickels one buffalo nickel and uh that three wheaties over there mm -hmm. and got him a 1905 barber great shape too got him a silver cuff link a Shreveport bell seal and another bell seal and so there's his finds he did pretty good today uh, I would think it's a good day oh, yeah. you know definitely a good day here's what I got there's all my trash you got to get the treasures you got to find trash and this is one big hunk of lead a big old heavy piece of lead all right I ended up getting one two three four five mini balls One's a sharps, I believe, ringtail, and then a small bullet. Got that little, I don't know what that is. We think maybe out of a tree, and they drained syrup out of a tree is what we're thinking that might have been. Louisiana tax token. And we got two Wheaties, and uh, they're kind of early on Wheaties. Got that Grand Casino. And we're thinking this is a one ounce silver. A lot of them were one ounce silver, and it's got weight like silver. And it rang up like silver and got weight like silver. So we're going to investigate on that. I got two V nickels and then two shield nickels. Check that out. Two shield nickels. And I maybe get a date off of this one, but I have to clean it up a little bit. I got uh, a Rosie, 1948 Rosie, 1951 Washington and 1897 barber and we're thinking that this is going to be either a wipe clean she um 
seated or it could be even possibly cap bust i mean that is so smooth but i kind of see a triangle there like a you know like a lady the way she looks on a seated like right there i don't know if you can tell maybe we're going to call that a seated anyway wipe seated and i think my best find of the day is going to be that uh 1852 an upper canadia canadian canada half dollar i've never dug one of these bank of something right there bank of so i don't know what that says i have to clean this up more but that's going to be my best find so there is all my finds for the day pretty good day four silvers possibly five silvers 1852 i mean how often do we get the shield uh dig two shield nickels and two uh, v nickels there's all the trash and here's all the treasure like i always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can come down to south louisiana and find out in an old field the greatest treasure what can be found up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again i just wish everybody happy hunting and god bless